Hello, and welcome to this Archer Point video where I'm going to show you how to use item attributes in Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2017. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to add some additional details about the items in your inventory, but you didn't know where to add them? Fortunately, in Nav 2017, we have a new feature called item attributes that allows us to better differentiate the items within our inventory. To do this, we can access the item attributes by two different ways. One, we can simply search it in the search bar. Or two, we can go to our departments, go to our sales and marketing, and we'll find inventory and pricing, which is where we'll also find item attributes underneath lists. So Dynamics Nav 2017 comes with a few preloaded attributes within the demo version, such as color, width, height, model year, which are all common differentiators between inventory. However, you can also add more attributes that are more specific to your industry, such as style or weight. To add a new attribute, simply go and click on new, add a name, specify what type of, um, or how this, this will be measured, where it's going to be in a decimal um, integer or a drop-down menu. And also, there's a feature here where you can click on blocked, which will remove an attribute from your list if it is not necessary for your industry. So I've created a couple attributes here, such as style, weight, and warehouse. And I'm just gonna show you real quick what that might look like. So for weight, obviously I typed in weight in the name. I wanted this to be a decimal format so I could put fractions of a pound. And then for units of measure, I put pounds, but this could be grams or kilograms. And also if this were height, this could be centimeters or inches or feet. Um, so let's move off of our item attributes and go look at our item cards. So to specify an attribute within a specific item, you can do it one of two ways. You can either go to your actions tab and click on attributes. Uh, keep in mind you have to have whatever item you want to specify, you have to have that highlighted. You can click on attributes. Um, and then here is where we can specify which attributes we want to put on for that item or what, what color, what length, or maybe we want to add a new attribute and specify what material this specific, um, what this specific item might be made out of. The other way that we can do this is by clicking on the item card itself. And here you'll also find attributes at the top within the ribbon. So within the item card, you can also see the item attributes listed here on the right side of the page under item attributes. Um, it'll say every attribute that is currently listed underneath that item. So what's cool about using item attributes is that we can now filter our items by their attributes. If I wanted to find all of the items that, for instance, were yellow, I could go to my home tab, click on filter by attributes. I could click on the color attribute and the value I could put yellow. Click on okay, it'll now filter through all my items that are just yellow. This supports the commonly used filtering operations and also makes it possible to filter the items based on multiple attributes and multiple attribute values, which function similar to page filters. Thanks again for watching this how-to video on how to use item attributes in Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2017. I hope it has been helpful and have a great day. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.